And as they got to the window and began to bang on the window, what you can see on the video is a tremendous explosion that takes place. And you see our officers fall backwards from the blast. I've seen the video of what happened last night. You literally had Austin police officers running towards a vehicle that had an explosive device in it. That detonated. That is unbelievable courage. It can never be called a happy ending, but it's a damn good one for the people of this community and people state of Texas. Many federal agents from around the country still in Austin and in Pflugerville tonight. The suspect in the series of explosions in Austin died this morning after a brief chase in Round Rock. But authorities say that the investigation is far from over. They spent the day combing through 23-year-old Mark Condit's house, as well as his parents, searching for answers. KXAN's Wes Rappaport visited his parents' home where federal agents conducted a search. Complete shock. And uh, the only thing I can say about the whole thing is he and his family are as normal as I've seen anybody. The last time neighbor Jeff Reeves saw the suspect was at the young man's parents' house right next door a week or two ago. He is in disbelief that the kid he knew is the man authorities say carried out this series of attacks. Number one, hoping they were wrong. Number two, quite surprised. Uh, I'm not sure I still believe it. Authorities say Mark Condit is responsible for killing two people and hurting five others in a three-week bombing spree. SWAT officers swarmed his Pflugerville home Wednesday, and investigators spent the morning talking to his family, who lived less than a mile away. We don't have any information to believe that the family had any knowledge of his, his guns. Austin police say his parents are cooperating with federal investigators seen here looking through two sheds on the property and using a canine trained to check for explosives. It's a big deal, so... You know, we all want to do our part to assist. The handler tells us his canine did not find anything suspicious at the family's home, although this investigation is far from over. The federal government brought the full resources of federal law enforcement here to solve this and to stop the injuring and the killing that was occurring. That was Wes Rappaport reporting. Police say two of Condit's roommates were taken into custody for questioning but were not arrested. And tonight